so hi guys it's Smith here and today we're going to look at uh, rise rise raise rise minimap you can see it on the right here uh, and you can see that I can zoom in uh, to sections etc so let's have a look down here a minute just go down here uh, yeah rise minimap is a utility you can use to for walking around exploring it's very handy it can be used on uh, on uh, server maps quite happily where they allow it but it's great in a, a world like this survival map for when you're building and looking at places to build it shows rivers you can see it zooms in and then zooms back out to a large area there's a myriad of settings when you go to the map I was just playing around with it there's a, a lot of things which like surface I can change it to biome uh, or a surface map so there's lots of things you can do and you can add things as surface map options there's tons of stuff here but I'm not going into that this video is about how to download it uh, how to download it and install it for Minecraft 1.72 it works this works on 1.74 servers uh, and it works on uh, number 1.72 it's quite a hard thing to do because there are many downloads out there that don't work and different ways of downloading and installing. I will show you the quick and easy way of getting this up and running on your Minecraft uh, 1.72. Uh, it is 1.72 although it runs in 1.74 but it's really really handy. So without further ado I'm going to go across and show you how to download it and install it into Minecraft. Right guys, so what we want to do is search for Rise Minimap. There's many different versions on the uh, on the web. So what we want to do is put in Rise, or oh, there you go, Rise Minimap 1.74. Uh, there's uh, information at uh, minecraftforum.net about issues, etc. And there's sort of, uh, loads of things and tutorials. However, a lot of them don't actually work with this particular version. So this is the one you need to go for, www.playdota.com. And you click on the link. And what happens is when it comes up, you get this web page uh, and uh, thanks to uh, Cinesyncs for highlighting this uh, it was posted a while ago but it's still the current uh, version so what you do there's also some information about the single player commands there which I'm not going to go to and Optifine HD for Minecraft which is the other thing you can download so there you go some people might be interested in that so let's go to Rise Minimap for Minecraft and we click on the link and it will take us to this page here so there you go, it gives you a bit of a, a, a quick scan about it. But the main thing is you will see it's got all the present versions at work. And this new version is a completely different way to use to install. You do not need Minecraft Forge to be installed. Uh, so it works on its own and we just have to install it. And we'll show you that and you have to pay attention when we get to the bit where we actually look how you install this. So the first thing you want to do is download 1.72. Right, minimap version 3.403 beta, because that's the latest version that there is. So you download that and literally you come to the ad fly page, ADF fly. And don't click any of these adverts that play in the middle. You get all sorts of adverts come here. Wait for the skip on the right hand side. You skip the video uh, and then the download should appear. Now sometimes uh, I wouldn't recommend Internet Explorer because it takes a few times, uh, but I would recommend using Google. Uh, and then once you're in there you can just show it in there but what I'm going to do is head over to my download folder which you should all know and we'll pull it out of the uh, download folder and, and uh, work from there now I'm in uh, uh, Windows 8 new 8.1 so you can use uh, file explorer to go and find the file so I've opened up my downloads you can see the rise minimap zip I'm using WinRAR so you can get WinRAR free which is uh, available just type in WinRAR free and it's free to use that's my choice uh, rather than WinZip a lot of people like WinZip so it works into both there's the WinRAR there which I downloaded the other day so let's have a look at this then so then you want to go to your desktop so you need to go to run you need to find the run you can many different ways but you want to go into uh, the uh, it's the percentage app data percentage Windows 8.1 never remembers it Windows 7 did there's something interesting so you press OK and that'll bring up your roaming profile same in Windows 7 as Windows 8.1 and then you can snap it to the left 
so the dot minecraft folder is the one i want now if i open it up i want to show you this first i've downloaded a completely uh version if you've got an old minecraft you'll have all the different versions in going back to however long minecraft but this is a brand new install the easiest way to do that is save if i come back up here the easiest way to do this before loading anything is save your dot minecraft folder somewhere in another folder because if it goes wrong you've still got your backup so this one's a new one that I've done fresh just to show you. Now you notice there was no 1.72. You have to have version 1.72. So what we'll do is we'll go and boot up, uh, boot up the Minecraft and get ourselves 1.72. And I'll show you how to do that. So if we just go down, we boot up our Minecraft. And when you load it, you need a new profile. So if I do a new profile, and I'm going to call it 1.7.2, and when you go down here, I want to enable exper experimental versions, because I like those as well. So you don't need to do that, but use the latest version. I'm going to now go back to version 1.72. So once you've done that, save your profile, and now you play. And if you play in that, it means you're in... 1.72 what it will do is download the 1.72 version that I want to play with and mess about with uh, it takes a bit of time to load first up it always does even on this one and what I'll do is I don't need to do any more than that I'll show you you're in 1.72 so there you go so I can quit the game so let's bring back up the uh, versions and you'll now see we have 1.72 if you don't mind uh, messing about uh, with 172 you can leave it the other way you could do is make a copy so if you copy and then you paste uh, and I'll do it that way because it's easier so I'll keep it so you get a copy and that's the one we're going to mess around with so let's uh, open up uh, rise minimap folder let's have a look what's in there snap that to the right you have two uh, objects one is a, a folder which has loads of files just leave it as it is like that and then you've got this bar class file and I'll show you what to do with this now what you need to do is you need to rename uh, this uh, exactly what you want to call it. So what I'm going to call it is I'm just going to rename it straight away. So I'm just going to put uh, R E I S. Uh, I'm just going to put it Rice, and I know it's Rice Minimap. That's the easiest way. So press Enter, and I've renamed it, and that's what it'll come out. So next thing is open up this folder, and you've got. Uh, you've got a jar file forget about this you've got a jar file and you've got this JSON file these are the two things we're going to change first of all I'm going to change the JSON file uh, I'm going to rename this and if you remember what we called it they've got to be exactly the same letters capitals so once you've renamed that I'm going to rename this one as well so the same you can call it whatever you want but the crucial thing is every single one's got to be the same name so first of all though before you go and mess around with the executable jar file we need to look into this now you might not have it uh, set uh, as a, a notepad so what I'll do is what you've got to do is click on it open with and then you can pick the program now in Windows 8 I've already selected notepad if this doesn't show up if you untick the box and you go to more options you can then come find notepad you might use wordpad as well but I'm going to use notepad so I'm going to keep that and I didn't tick it but never mind see this in the first line I need to call this the same so you can see I've got a capital R I E S critical you've got to have the external folder the JSON file and the jar file and that all named identical so once you've done it it'll say do you want to save yes there you go simple as that so now we're ready to install these two into the jar file now the jar file again you if you open it up with your uh, WinRAR I'm going to use WinRAR or WinZip but I'm going to open up WinRAR you get the classic uh, Minecraft file and if you've done this before and looked in here you'll know what you have got so let's start and you've got to follow these steps exactly uh, like previous I'm just going to load this uh, into this folder so I'm just going to drag it across and place it in there this will come up with do you wish to overwrite uh, and replace files yes I do so, but this is a brand new so it won't do that so there you go the folder is in there now you can see it there next don't click on it because your next thing this bar class has just got to be dropped into here so you drop the bar class into there again it's going to overwrite yes so press that okay and it's now inside 
one last thing before you come out of this you need to delete always delete the meta int file uh, before you move anywhere else so to that at the end that is now deleted okay so we get rid of the jar we get rid of that we don't need that and now we don't need that as well uh, so we can go backwards so there you go you got an R E I S just go forwards yes all spelt we're all happy to go happy to go so I'm gonna just leave that there let's boot up Minecraft <coughs> right so let's change this 1.72 we don't want so I'm gonna create a new profile I'm gonna call this rise Again, you can call it what you want, minimap, rise. So I'm going to see if uh, use expandable yes, versions. And now we should go down and find release rise. There you go. There's where it is. So you've got to click that. So now we've got it called it ra rise. We're going to release rise. So save profile. Now when you first play it, just select that profile like that. Press play and off it will go and it will load up and we're going to single player world and we're going to the world I created earlier and just go straight into it and there you have it rise minimap in there straight away uh, working fine and dandy uh, now I'm not recording fraps it's so it's a bit jaggy I'm recording a desktop recorder which doesn't tend to work as well so there you go so we stand on there uh, this is quite a basic map reader. Let's turn the sound off because I've got that. Options, music. Go back down there. Done. Uh, back to game. Right, let's just look. You bring the M to bring it up, and then you've got some options. Uh, rise menu and enable, disable it. Surface type. You can have a biome because you can then see the biomes. You can switch back to cave and then surface because you can go through the different versions, which is pretty pretty damn good because you can see where a cave is uh, def points you can add that minimap options there are tons of options uh, for the minimap uh, word of warning uh, be careful uh, if you've got hyper threading get that enabled because it suddenly slows it down so uh, put it to middle priority on a good computer you can put it to low priority but if you've got a threaded hyper threading on your processor get that because it's a lot smoother uh, and there's all sorts of fantastic setting here. Uh, I think if I go back, if I go to there's one here, which uh, you've got markers as well and death points. Uh, so I just can't get to. Oh, there we go. I I forgot. I'm gonna have to do a separate video to how to use this. I was looking for different versions so let's go to cave so entities you've got all the different entities so you could just have uh, oh, enabled right okay and finally if you come to the surface map options there's loads of things here like chunk grid and one of the big thing is show slime chunks this is fantastic if you want to find slime chunks it only works in single player doesn't work in uh, in uh, online but you can download an online map that you own so there we go so there we go slime chunks uh, it's got all sorts of things about uh, lighting effects it's masses of uh, different things so there you go uh, that's really it that's all I'm going to show uh, an exit menu uh, and then oh it's got my uh, it's got the mobs on here as well see it's showing the mobs now uh, and you can zoom in it's quite interesting there you go at that level it shows the mobs and it shows them up uh, where they are and it shows you different types of mobs as well so that's really cool oh where the mobs there there we go so it's a it's an excellent piece of kit it's all working now quite happily because of the hyper threading uh, it's very handy and you can zoom in zoom right in to see where you are 
so there you go there's rise mini map how to download it install works absolutely fine uh, thanks for watching if you press a like that it actually works for you uh, I won't be able to provide any technical help but there's loads of help on the Minecraft forums uh, for this particular thing so thanks very much and it's uh, bye for me and uh, please sub